Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got a huge game this weekend. We got Michigan State Spartans coming to Columbus, take on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Let's talk about the keys for both teams, what's at stake, and ultimately, who's going to get the job done? Michigan State, the last two weeks, is coming off a 29-40 to 40 point loss against Purdue and a 40-21 to 21 point win against Maryland. Julia Tagovailoa threw for 350 yards and two touchdowns on him. On the flip side of that, Thorne had 287 yards, four touchdowns and one pick. The Spartans were wearing those god-awful uniforms, the neon green in them. Kenneth Walker that game had 30 carries for 143 yards and two tutties. Meanwhile, on the flip side of that, you got Ohio State coming off a win at at Nebraska, 26-17. And then last week, they were absolutely steamrolling Purdue in a 59-31 to point. That's why I say they were steamrolling them. Unfortunately, the defense was not playing up to our standard, and they let Purdue back in a little bit back into the game, a little bit closer than I would have liked. Unfortunately, Purdue was able to score 31 points to Ohio State's 59. The score kind of indicates a closer game than it actually was. With C.J. Stroud throwing 361 yards and five touchdowns, going 31 of 38, spreading the ball all around to three different receivers. Jackson Smith and Jigba had nine receptions. Garrett Wilson had 10. Alave had nine. And rushing the ball, this was the big story for Ohio State, was the defense was playing well. The offense was not clicking. This game, we had Mayan Williams getting 14 carries, 117 yards, averaging 8.4 yards a carry. And Travion Henderson had 13 carries for 98 yards averaging 7.5 yards a carry with two touchdowns. If you're Michigan State, the key to success and winning this game, in my opinion, is shutting down the run on the first and second down attempts, holding Ohio State to a couple yards, forcing that third down and long, and on those third down and longs, bringing pressure and try to rattle Stroud. I'm not saying it's a good idea to leave our Ohio State's receivers on one-on-one -on -one man coverage or anything like that, but if you're able to win at the line of scrimmage, you can definitely rattle him. Also, if you're Michigan State on the offensive side, you got to be look, watching our watching Ohio State's defensive film from last week. You got to like what you see. Ohio State struggled to get pressure with only four down linemen at times. So if you're but if you're Michigan State, you're hoping you can sit back there with a clean pocket and deliver to either Naylor or Reed or whoever. Because we've kind of seen that all year. On the flip side of that, if Ohio State if they aren't getting pressure with their just their four down linemen, they'll start blitzing and they run a, a uh, blitz heavy cover two scheme, which leaves the middle of the field wide open. It will be very, very important to Michigan State if they can get the run game going. And I'm not talking like busting out 20 yard runs or anything like that. But if you can hit, you know, anywhere from three to five yards a carry, you know, on those early downs, the first and second downs, make it third and third and short, you're definitely going to have a chance. And if you are the Buckeyes, for me, it's about Ohio State in this game. Are they going to be able to run the ball? Is Ryan Day going to call a game plan where he's not going to forget about the run game? And my only other question for Ohio State is on defense can we get pressure on thorn and not allow him to just sit back there in the pocket and, and pick apart our zones way too often this year it's been our defense has not been able to get constant pressure so i'm a little concerned about that i did see some stat about ohio state having like maybe like top sacks in the country or something like that um but then when you watch the tape and you see all these quarterbacks putting up huge numbers it's because they have, they have such a clean pocket in my opinion i think ohio state picks up right where they left off on the offensive side last week i think the big test is going to be on is ohio state defense i got ohio state winning 45 to 24 in a not so close matchup specifically because of ohio state's offense if they would have struggled against purdue offensively i probably game would have been a lot closer for me but seeing that firepower uh, clicking on all cylinders so that's the pick those are the keys as we get ready for the game against that team up north. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that sub button for me, and I'll catch you guys later.